Hi, this is Mike from Shaper Chevrolet doing a quick walk around on this 2012 Ford F-150. It's got the EcoBoost motor in it. Uh, sorry for the wind noise if you're getting any. Not sure if you can hear that ticking, but it seems a little louder than normal on, on this EcoBoost in particular. It's got Goodyear Wrangler tires on it. Got the good four side steps from factory. Cab corners are pretty decent. I'll crawl under underneath it here in a minute. Looks like it's got a tri-full tonneau cover. Uh, looks like it's seen some better days, but better than nothing, in my opinion. It's got the five and a half foot box. It's got a backup camera that works. It's in the rear view mirror. You do have a little rust uh, starting to come through there in the back of the tailgate. Drop-in bed liner. Scratch here. Got a small rust starting to come through there, but other than that, the wheel wells underneath feel pretty solid. Look like they tried to fix the cab corner a little bit here. Full crew cab, you got plenty of space in the back. Lots of storage. door should open because the locks are unlocked. Got a couple light scuffs here. A couple on the hood. So any vehicle over 100,000 miles or over 10 years of age as, is an as-is vehicle. We do offer other extended service contracts at additional price. Let's see, what else? I took it for a ride and I heard some noises coming from the rear. Sounded like on the passenger side. I'm not sure if it, if it needs brakes or if it's coming from the rear end itself. Be something to do with the, the, the rotors or pads or caliper back there because it did sound like it was more towards on the passenger side. Let's see here. Okay. Alright, that's open.
fire button. It doesn't look like the back passenger side door is locking. So I'll unlock so the passenger side door should open though. Does have leather tech floor mats in the front. Super good floor mats. Center console, of course, flips up. Alright, let's crawl underneath it, see what the underneath looks like. Okay, so the rockers look pretty rusty. Probably gonna look the same on the other side. So now, it does have a check engine light on. And keep in mind, we just got this truck in. We haven't done any work to it yet. I pulled the codes for it. One code was a crankshaft position sensor bank A and B. And then there's also, it's also throwing a code for the turbo charger. Um, not creating enough uh, pressure or something like that. Um, so that would have me concerned on it. That and the, the rust on the rockers. And then, like I said in the beginning of the video, you know, the EcoBoost motors, they do tend to have a little bit of a ticking sound. You know, that's your oil cooler. But this just seems to be a little bit louder than the others, which would also have me concerned. Another thing I want to point out is all of our USB. Do you come with this anti-theft acid etching on all the windows of our used vehicles. What that'll do for you is if your vehicle's ever lost, stolen, unrecovered after 30 days or brought back damaged and vandalized, after 30 days you'll receive up to a $5,000 check towards the purchase of a new vehicle upon what your insurance company will pay out. A lot of insurance companies do offer discount for having that on there. I go through Progressive, I know I save about 12 bucks a month on my insurance policy for having that. Um, so you'll see that on our purchase agreements if you move forward with any of our vehicles. If there's anything else you want me to pinpoint on. Anything else you want me to pinpoint on, excuse me, just let me know, I'll be happy to get more information or more videos or pictures for you. Um, like I said, I cannot hold a vehicle without a $200 deposit. It is non-refundable. So I wouldn't need you sold on any of our vehicles. It also goes towards the out-the-door cost of the vehicle, so it's not any extra money or anything like that. And that would move our vehicle, or your vehicle, I should say, to the front of the line to get serviced. Get fixed up, cleaned up, and ready to go for you. Well, this truck currently has 117, 528 miles on it. Um, like I said, I drove it down the road. It shifted good. It went straight down the road. 
but uh, just a couple of those issues that I mentioned earlier would have me concerned on it. But again, we haven't even looked at it or inspected it yet. So um, either way, we would fix that up, um, whether if you bought it or if uh, another customer bought it. So again, Mike from Schaefer Chevrolet, thank you for watching.